Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, March 18th. The weather for today is going to be sunny, around 53 degrees. Um, definitely, if your parents want to go out with you and you want to go maybe in your backyard and play a game and just get some, some good sunlight, definitely take advantage of today. I want to wish a happy birthday to two of our students. They're both at LLE. Happy birthday, Olivia Croman and Johan Wang. Congratulations to the both of you. I hope you guys make the best of today. Um, yesterday, I gave you guys a challenge, and it was to create a schedule for yourself. And I did see a challenge that one of the teachers shared with me that a student did. So great job to Jason Halper and Mrs. Appleblast's class. He put together a really awesome challenge that even had a reward section. We all love a good reward, um, but it was really a lot of fun to see, really awesome to see. Um, so I want to move on into the next challenge. We're all home with our families, um, which means that there's a lot of food shopping that your parents did to prepare for being home. And I'm sure they're still doing food shopping. Some people are ordering online, having it delivered to their house, whatever works for you. And we seem to be doing a lot more food shopping than before, but that's because we're home all day, boys and girls. So instead of you having breakfast and then coming and having lunch at school and then having dinner at home, where sometimes we go out for dinner, we're not doing that so much. Everyone's staying at home, eating three meals a day, sometimes four, sometimes five. Um, so my challenge to you is to sit down as a family and plan a, and plan a menu. Make a menu for an entire day. Plan a breakfast, um, plan lunch, and plan dinner. But I think it's also important to think about the snacks that come between those meals. So maybe you do uh, vegetables and hummus. Maybe you do a fruit bowl, something healthy. You know, we're always looking to, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a little ice cream after dinner, boys and girls. I, I actually had some, I'm not going to lie, with a little Tate's cookie. I'm getting low on my Tate's cookie, so Mr. Mazzini needs to go back to the store without a doubt. Um, so that's my challenge to you, create a, create a menu. I think that would be a lot of fun to do together. So my joke for the day is why did the student eat his homework? It's because the teacher told him it would be a piece of cake. <laughs> I hope you got, I enjoy that joke when, when I was researching some jokes. I don't come up with these boys and girls. I am not that good at telling jokes. I Googled them to be quite honest with you. And I was looking for a quote to share with everyone. And I think this is very inspirational based on what we are going through right now. And the quote is, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. So what does that mean? Or we know a, a rainbow has a lot of colors, you know, has a lot of life to it. If someone is feeling down in your house, give them a big smile, give them a hug, invite them to play a game. Maybe you go outside. Um, it's, it's always good to cheer each other up. So uh, I'm going to say goodbye to all of you because I know you all worked very hard yesterday. You all did a fantastic job. I was going on the um, Google Classrooms for third and fourth graders. I was going on the seesaw lessons that preschool through second grade was posting. And it, it was really great, very engaging, uh, wonderful to watch. Um, I do want to let the preschool three and preschool four parents know that you will be getting another video tomorrow because what I'm going to do is I'm going to read a book to the preschool three and four students. And it's a book that my daughter loves. Um, so I am go we're, but I'm going to send that video out later on, probably around dinner time, so that you could show it to uh, your children before they go to sleep, all right? So I miss everyone. I hope everyone's doing well uh, and Work hard, everyone. We're all in this together. Have a great day.